After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first name and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their head settled in the head holder and their arms resting along their body. Center the internal axial plane laser light through the tragus and the lower edge of the eye with the patient's head tilted back slightly. This will limit the exposure of the lens of the eye. Make sure that the axial laser light is at the midpoint of the skull and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. To help the patient maintain the position, you can place a restraint strap on their chin or on their forehead. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform a proper hand hygiene. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is head first. After checking the scan parameters, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain the lateral view. Click on Next Series. Place your slices box on the lateral localizer in such a way as to cover the upper and lower edges of the petrous bones from bottom to top. Then check the AP localizer to ensure that the slices box is large enough to cover the external auditory meatus. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with diagnostic guideline values. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of the petrous bone CT, you will need, at least, a reconstruction centered on the right petrous bone and another on the left petrous bone with a small field of view to optimize spatial resolution and a bilateral reconstruction. These reconstructions should be programmed with one of the sharpest filters for a maximum image resolution. Click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed with the acquisition when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition and that all pertinent anatomy is covered. You can perform a multi-planner reconstruction according to the planes requested by the radiologist. Radiologists frequently require a transverse axial reconstruction parallel to the lateral semicircular canal located on a sagittal slice and a coronal reconstruction perpendicular to the lateral semicircular canal located on a sagittal slice. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they can get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.